I've seen and continue to see historic photos of JPL and, and the people that worked here in the beginning. Having an imperfect past is fine, but really trying to build a better future is what warms my heart. There's been a tremendous change over the 45 years I've been at JPL. I first started at JPL in the late 1970s as part of the Voyager team. And there weren't very many women, but over the years I've seen that really change. And now there are many more women in roles across the project, including upper leadership roles. Young women have really embraced quantum science, also in general, uh, space exploration. I think one of the things that I really enjoy about JPL is that even as a young engineer, I was always given a seat at the table and listened to. Any given mission, you find people that are from different countries. I'm originally from Tunisia and I work here. We find people from all over the world here, and that diversity uh, has been great because I didn't feel that as an immigrant, I was something different. Uh, there were lots of people like me. Inclusion is so important to the success of JPL because we need to attract the right people to tackle the issues that we have at hand, to be able to send all of these complex robotics to other planets and moons. We land rovers on Mars and fly helicopters. These are not easy things and not things that are written in textbooks. We have to keep pushing the envelope and we are only going to be able to do that if we have teams that work well together, that feel accepted together, but that can also look at a problem, come at it a different way, with a whole different set of experience, and bring that to the table. It takes small microaggressions, small gestures, for someone to feel othered, for someone to feel not included or part of the culture and part of the group. And when you don't feel part of the group, it's hard to collaborate. So it's a teamwork, it's a team effort. All of those uh, led me to see, you know, this is where I want to be. I've been here about 17 years. I really cherished and enjoyed every moment of it. It's very refreshing and encouraging to see that change. Not only to have more women, but have greater diversity here at JPL. JPL provides a supportive and nurturing environment all the way from the top. They have these two new classes, for example, were released on reducing bias and understanding gender differences at JPL. And by the end of 2020, 86% of managers took one of those two courses, which is amazing. Culture and changes start from the top, and that's what JPL is committed to. I found that people have accepted me for who I am. I mean, I'm not exactly your typical engineer, and I felt comfortable, you know, dyeing my hair again once I started working here and being sort of my, you know, <laughs> uh, my loud and loud self. During that time, I had my daughters, and other children were born to Voyager Moms. And then working on Cassini, I can bring my grandchildren to see JPL. It's really been a multi-generational journey of exploration. I consider myself very lucky to have uh, ended up at JPL and to have been here for so many years. It really nurtured me. It offered me tremendous opportunities that I don't think I would have had anywhere else.